a technical achievement and no doubt scientific breakthrough and discoveries here. So now the company swiftly moved towards, okay, how do we get this into the market and how do we make sure that we're advancing uh, some of what we've been able to develop around here? How does that change the company profile from your perspective? Yeah, that, that's the real challenge now going forward. So um, you mentioned the price. I, I think uh, it, there's there are going to be discounts here. Um, that, that will not be the true net price that these uh, companies realize. Uh, but really a bigger challenge uh, for uh, getting access to this technology is the process involved with this. Um, the patients are essentially undergoing a bone marrow transplant. Uh, this requires them to spend several months preparing uh, for the, the procedure and then uh, several weeks, four to six weeks in the hospital. Um, as you can imagine, that's uh, very difficult for a lot of people to uh, stomach. Um, and that is the, the real challenge here is, is trying to um, market this technology in the face of this uh, relatively challenging procedure. Uh, I do think it will be limited to the most severe of these patients, um, of, of sickle cell patients. Uh, but again, for, for those patients who are willing to do this, uh, it, it can provide a lifelong cure. When it comes to that lifelong cure, obviously there's a clearly an incentive here for patients to want to try if it makes the most sense for them to have access to these types of drugs. When you try to guesstimate what the adoption is going to look like when you take a more longer term view, 10 years <laughs> from now, what does that look like, at least from where you stand today? Honestly, it looks like low single digit percentage. Yeah. Um, I, I do think this that is a... a kind of a ceiling on the uh, number of patients who are severe enough that they would undergo this uh, procedure. Um, but these are patients who are in truly bad shape. Um, patients, you, you can see uh, 13, 14, 15 year old patients with stroke, heart attack, never mind the you know excruciating pain that they go through uh, when they do have uh, the crises, you know, going to the hospital and uh, for, for multiple days to, you know, treat the pain and, and uh, other effects from the disease. So, you know, for those patients, it's going to be truly transformative, uh, but it is going to be a small percentage of patients, in my opinion. David, Anjali here. I know I've heard similar uh, in part because of uh, access issues in terms of location, in terms of the price point. You know, when it comes to the fact that this is something new, is that low uptake surprising in any way? I, I think it's... Um, when you think about the procedure, it's not surprising. I think if this were, uh, you know, a shorter procedure, if it only took a few days in the hospital, um, you know, if there were other, um, you know, ameliorating um, factors to the procedure, I think you would see a, a higher uh, adoption rate. Um, but yes, I think the, the, the real barrier here is the uh, procedure itself, the time it takes to do it, and the um, you know, difficulties involved with it. You mentioned access and sites. That's that is going to be another issue. Um, you need a essentially bone marrow transplant site, and many of the sites that the companies ran their clinical trials in, um, frankly, have relatively low populations of sickle cell patients, and they need to expand um, sites. In my opinion, to uh, other areas of the country that uh, you know have have more patients uh, locally.